Sass. Yeah. Sass there now. I can see the wee thing on the... Hello. Hello. Hello, this is the Skit Twins podcast. Again. Again. Haven't given up yet. Yep. We're actually doing pretty well. Number three. 316 listens Since, on the other one. Yeah. I think someone might have just left it on loop, like on repeat, and just had their volume off and not realised they were playing it. I mean... I have a sneaky suspicion that that's what happened. Yeah. Not that I'm complaining, I, I think know, it's yeah. pretty cool. Cheers for doing that, I know. Thank you for listening, thank you for coming back again, or thank you for coming for the first time. Thank you ever led you to us. Or if you just stumbled upon us, that's cool too. You're very welcome. 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 Welcome home. Do, do, do. Welcome. Do, do, do. Come that's on so in. That's so bad. I'm just... I don't even know. Okay. I always that? think it's like, come on in and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not it. It's not it. I thought it was, come on in and close the door. Yeah, I thought that was it. Is that no, not no, it? No, no. Right, first of all, before we start, last podcast, I was talking about the phobia of moving clouds. I was I not talking about that? I yeah, that... but I said there was an actual name for it. Oh, right, okay, so what is the actual name? You've done your research? Nephophobia. Is that how you pronounce it? Or are you I don't know. Right? There's there's two PHs in it, so I'm assuming you pronounce... Nephophobia. I'm assuming you pronounce both PHs as an F. Excuse me. So, yeah. Nephophobia. I have that. That's... Spiders and everything, fine. Well, not fine, but, like, I don't scream. I just kind of crush them. Sorry. You don't do that with bees, though. You, like, Bee- run on my... Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if anything buzzes near me, I will sprint as, like, faster than you see in Bolt, probably. Like, like she's, she can sprint. I can... But only whenever there's a bee. Yeah. Or anything buzzing. I don't think I move faster than when there's a bee. Does that make sense? Did I just... Yeah. It's like, like the five that's... rules of dodgeball. Yeah. Duck, dive. Dodge. Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> dive and d- I don't know I've never watched that movie Neither have I I've heard people talking about it and it sounds good but it's one of those things where like I have too many films that sound yeah, good yeah I have a list and it's like oh yeah I'll add that to my list and I still haven't watched anything on the list yeah. I like rewatch old stuff that I've already seen a million times yeah. which is like I want to watch House again but also a series of unfortunate events and 13 Reasons Why whenever it comes out and someone also Recommended Riverdale and Twin Peaks and Gossip Girl. We also Girl have to watch Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy as well. Yeah. I think it's on. I mean, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say something about The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, but I've tried them. I don't know. We watched like half, of, well, like the last part of it in Edinburgh. The and second I've... Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I thought it was all right. I could probably watch it, but I would be more interested in The Hobbit. I think because my man James Nesbitt's in it, and I would just be watching it for him. I would just be like, you. Well, yeah. The background of my computer changed. So I, was like, just got I was like, what got, happened? Got, got Did different. it turn off? But no, it's fine. It it's just still got good. suddenly brighter. But that's cool. It's all good. good. Yeah, there was something else. I was talking about um, phrases that you use and you don't realise you're oh, using them. Yes. You don't realise that people don't understand. Yeah, like, and you couldn't remember what it was. Yeah, so I was, we were at a, an acting thing in London, and there was like a lot of English people slash Welsh people. Well, we were the North. We were the only two Northern, Northern Irish, Irish people. people. And so cheers for letting us be on that. Thank um, you. you know. Hire us. Um, but I didn't realise that there was different phrases. Like, like I know that there's colloquial phrases that we use, but I didn't realise that I used them without thinking, if that makes sense. Like, and that, you know and, that I mean? people, and that people couldn't sort of place it, if that yeah. makes sense. Like, there's colloquial phrases where you can kind of be like, oh, well, that sounds like it means this. Yeah. But um, my story is, there was, um, what was it, a guy and his sister were leaving on the last day, and I was like, oh, is that you's away on then? And he looked at me like I had, like, four heads, and I was like, um... Uh, <laughs> he was like, sorry, what? And I was like, um, are you... Are you going now? Yeah, and he's like, oh yeah, this is like, yeah, we're going now. It's been lovely to meet you. And I was like, yeah, okay, cool, bye. Bye. So basically, and just to just to explain, is that you's away on means, are, are you, you going, going now? Or is that yous? Yeah. Is that, yeah. well, I suppose, is, is that you? Or is that yous? Like, that's, are you finished? Are you done? Are you going? Like, it can mean, like, three different things. Like, it doesn't mean, like, mama, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, is that you? Yes, this is this is me. This is me. So no, it means is that you? Is that you done? Is that you finished? Is that you heading on? But anyway, that's because I was listening back and I was like, I was like suddenly like, oh, that's what it was. It was one of those moments where it just comes to you at the most random yeah. times. I think colloquial phrases is like the hardest thing to get rid of. Like like we do accents a lot. If you've seen our YouTube channel, like yeah, you we know, do. um and 
doesn't like, it's hard but it's also easy because especially with Northern Irish like phrases and stuff like it doesn't sound right in any other accent yeah like, but then it's hard to sort of be able to be like go into an American accent and then like not just call everybody dudes because not all Americans do that yeah and it's not necessarily it's, the accent we do yeah it's kind of I don't want to say stereotypical but it kind of is yeah it like, definitely is like <laughs> yeah I don't know. Like, like we do, we do Olga and Bernadette, and it's just kind of like it could it, be. It could be offensive. Like in fairness, so we don't you, mean it to be. offensive. Yeah, it's meant to be but, funny, just for a bit of crack. But I've just realised that we say like a lot, just whenever we're chatting here. Yeah. Like we just keep going like every other word. Apologies, <laughs> but I suppose everybody has that. I mean, some people say mm, or uh, I just said like again. <laughs> I'm um, trying not to say it. Yeah, but. Yeah, different people have different things. It's sort of a filler, isn't it? Yeah. And I always feel really bad whenever we leave big gaps here, which is why I'm constantly talking. But Yeah, or trying to sort of just go, uh... Because it does sound weird in podcasts whenever you're listening to it, and then it's just a pause. And it's sort of like... I thought you were going to leave a pause it? there as an example, but you didn't. <laughs> and it's sort of... You don't know if, like, your earphones... Are my earphones working? Yeah. Is this still going? Like, I can't remember what, what podcast it was I was listening to, and there was a big pause. I think it was Scott Mills. And there was a big pause between, like, the Scott Mills and him talking again. I was kind of like, what? what? I had to pick my phone up to make was sure it really was that still... long? Yeah, it was a good, like, ten seconds. And that was, I'm really aware of me saying like now. Um, <laughs> it was a good ten seconds. And I listened to it on one, one and a half speed. Yeah. So I don't know how long it was. Like, about five, in real seven life. minutes. Five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes. Sorry, seconds. <laughs> seconds. But yeah, that's that. Yeah, no, I'm I'm the same. There would be time. Well, actually, no. My my earphones are quite dodgy at the best of times, anyway. So it's probably my earphones. If there are times, and it's just sort of like silence. But also, sometimes it's a wee bit nice whenever they stop talking for a wee minute. You're just like, ah. ah. It's like whenever you switch off like a computer or whatever, you don't realize that the noise is annoying you, or the noise is so obvious in the background, like. You Not that I'm like, saying I listen like, to podcasts that annoy me, but just there's times and you're just like, oh, that's what quietness is. Okay. Yeah, like, but like if, if you're listening, if like you have your computer sort of like whirring in the background or whatever, it just becomes normal until yeah. you switch it off. And then it's almost like a, ah. Yeah, it's just, you're just kind of surprised by how you, no, but like it's it's kind of that thing where you can almost like hear the silence, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. You can feel it pressing in on your ears. I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense to me. Yeah. I understand. Me. It's like it's whenever you go into deep water. Yeah. That sort and of suddenly like your like ears pop or whatever. Silence. Yeah. It's I good. always thought that was really cool. Yeah. Like I would have like slowly submerged my head and like my ears. And I would have been like, wow, everything sounds so different down here. That's why I love doing anchor swim. Like you dive down to the bottom of the pool and swim along the floor, and like it hurts your ears a wee bit. Yeah. You have to sort of keep swallowing or keep like. I don't know, it was always nice stop. doing. It was always nice doing that on a holiday as well, because the pool was always really noisy with screaming kids and stuff. They've like just sunk down. Ah, I'm safe down here, and then it's like <gasps> oxygen <I know> air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, what else is on our list? Um, Susan from Texas. Hey, Susan. I was gonna try and do a Texas accent. Howdy, there. Susan. That's not. That's. That, no. I don't think. I think yeah, if you went to Texas and said that, they would hit you with. It. Something hard. Yeah. Um, don't but, do that. Don't go to Texas. Yeah. Um, Susan wanted us to talk about sheep because so, we keep sheep. Well, yeah. we don't keep sheep. We live on a sheep farm. Our dad's a farmer. We are farmers' daughters. We are pretend farmers. Well, we have to help. We have yeah. to help during lambing, and we're still helping now, even though the lambs are what over a month old, nearly Aww, two months. They're growing up so fast. I feel like a proud mama. <laughs> yeah, we do a thing on like Twitter and Instagram. Whenever we're lambing, called lambing updates, lambing, lambing updates, and we do hashtag stable to table because we're not vegan. Yeah, sorry if you are vegan. Yeah, we. It's, it's just it's, it's just life. life for us. Yeah, we were like we we basically grew up knowing that animals make food or you know they they don't live forever. Yeah, but maybe that's a bit sad. Is, is it? I don't know. I don't know either. I just kind of it's just local. normal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we keep sheep. Well, Dad keeps sheep. We look after the sheep. We help move the sheep. The sheep annoy me. I talk about sheep. I pretend that I know what I'm talking about. Our I'm most recent video, depending oh, yeah. on when you watch this, is, yeah. is sheep accents. 
Oh yeah, also the one before that is it's been quite farmery yeah. lately. The past two weeks. We'll try and not do something farmery. Do a farmer bake off. <laughs> oh, that'll be class. What would we make? Like no, farmers all eat shortbread though. We've already done shortbread technically. Shortbread or scones or soda bread or something. Soda bread. You tea cakes. Tea cakes. Well, tonics, farmers, farmers tonics, always tea like cakes. tea. Tea. Tonics tea cakes though, can we talk about that? Yeah. Can we please? So we were in Edinburgh last week, which is, you know, Scotland. Yep. Where tonics are made, born, created. As in Scotland or as in Edinburgh? Scotland, sorry. Oh, yeah, I thought you were trying to say they were made in Edinburgh and I was like, why didn't we go to the factory? <laughs> that would have been class. I would love to go to the factory. Anyway, tonics tea cakes, right? You've all had the normal ones, okay? Milk chocolate fluffy marshmallow stuff and then like the bottom of it I don't even know what the bottom of it's made of is it's it like biscuit? biscuit but it's softer than biscuit it's like soggy biscuit but nice soggy biscuit yeah that's not my point my point is the dark chocolate ones okay we need to talk about those they are are they new have they always been there they've been they've been out for a while at least yeah but they are amazing you know what they need to do though what white chocolate mm, I'm not a huge fan of like white chocolate things at the best of time ever since Cadbury's got rid of Dream. Dream. It's just no way, no Mil- hold on. Milky, Milky bar. bar, Milky Bar, Milky Bar, Milky Bar exists. Yeah. Oh, Milky Bar. I want Milky Bar now. I have Milky Bar at home. No. I have Milky Ways. Uh, Milky Ways are actually pretty good. I like Milky Ways. But anyway, no. Tonics tea cakes. Excellent. Ten out of ten. Would buy a six pack and eat them all myself. Wasn't trying really hard to get a six pack. Although, like, who needs a six pack on your body whenever you can have a six pack of Tonics tea cakes? You yeah, know, just saying. I remember at primary school being invited to like the headmaster's tea party <gasps> or whatever. I remember that, and they got an ice cream van, and you got to like have your own like ninety nine, and it was free. And I got like blueberry, blueberry was it blueberry or bubblegum sauce on it? Because everyone else was getting like a mixture of both, and I was like, this is the biggest regret of my life. I should have just put, stuck with red sauce. I should not red sauce, not to, not ketchup, not, like, like strawberry, strawberry sauce. raspberry sauce, whatever. And I was just, I was so sad. I was so disappointed. Like you well, know, what? I wasn't even thinking about that. We got tonic tea cakes, and I saved the wrapper of mine. Do you still have for it? a good year? Because oh, I was like, okay. that's my reminder of the headmaster's lunch, and like it was. I could have saved any wrapper of Tonics tea cakes, but I knew that that was the wrapper I got. I tried to save my one from Edinburgh that we got at the castle that was an, a ridiculous price, a pound for a for tea cake. Tea, one tea you cake. You can get a six pack of those in the pound shop for one pound, like, one pound for one. To be fair, it was at the castle, I was expecting everything to be a bit expensive, but st- I was still kind of shocked. I'm <laughs> always shocked at that. Like, it's sort of like, well, they, they need to make a living, you know. But also, not... you're paying to get through the gates already. Why yeah. charge so much in the cafe? All I wanted was a tea cake. <laughs> if, we ever, if we ever open a wee tourist place, we'll just like, charge you 20 quid to get in, but you get a free cup of tea. Yeah, in the middle. That's, that's what you need. You know, quality might not be great, but you know what? You're having a good time. You're learning about <laughs> history. You're learning about culture. We're all having a good time. It's okay if the tea's rubbish. <laughs> No, I mean, I'll give them a good, decent cup of tea, but, like, the sandwich will just be, like, made in front of you. Like, oh, there's some flora, there's some ham. But people will like that, because it'll be, like, freshly handmade. They'll know that it's, like, no, not frozen. I'll just have to make sure I don't sneeze then halfway through. Yeah, just don't do that. Yeah, you'd probably lose. You'd actually probably be closed down for that. Yeah, food hygiene and all You're that. You're closing down our business before we even got started, Chloe. I can't Sorry. believe you've done this to us. Sorry. We're going to be poor forever now. No one's ever going to want to come back. <laughs> to our pretend business tourist tourist business, business. yeah Edinburgh's a cool place stop burping because really they sorry. stink sorry I'll talk like th- I can't talk like that no stop idea. it I'm sorry oh my I'm word let me get a drink hold on just, just gonna get a drink I'm gonna move on and talk about the podcast we like to listen to because I don't think we've talked about that yet like no. what sort of made us want to do podcasts we kind of talked about it in the first one I think yeah. why we decided to but yeah let's talk about podcasts that we like mainly so we can just tag them in on twitter and be like hey we mentioned you in our podcast please share it yeah share the podcast that's another thing i'm just going to keep saying things throughout this but if you're listening to this now just click the share button tweet it facebook it whatever um tell someone about it through word of mouth communication is important yeah talk to people talk about to it. people about it um tell them how much you like, like or it, it or how much you hate our accents whatever um, I mean, we could just do an ac- We could just do a podcast as Olga and Bernadette, you know. Yeah, let us know if you want that. We're only gonna do it if you ask for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you don't ask, you don't get. We are always told as <laughs> way, and so we're still told. You don't ask, you don't get. So, but yeah, share it, like it, uh, read it, leave us a comment. 
or a review. Yeah, whatever. that. But yeah, that's anyway. Suppose you should tweet us skit under slash twins underscore. It's tw- always skit get... underscore twins. I nearly said twit underscore mm. skins and no. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> twit skins. Ooh. Oh, it just sounds weird yeah. as well. Anyway, podcasts that we listen to. Go go go. Uh, Greg James. That's what he said. Cause it's solid podcasts. It's good. It's funny. It's like radio, only without the songs and with extra bits thrown in. Yeah, I think we always sort of listen to it, going, we could do that. Like, yeah, Greg I think I think that's why we started this podcast because we were kind of like, they can do it. They're just chatting. Yeah, I was always sort of like, they just banter off each other. They just like take the mic and they just like chat about random stuff. Like, it's basically what me and you do on a daily basis. Let's just try it. Let's just yeah. do it. Um. But yeah, no, it's really good, and they do like stuff from Greg's show, and then podcast special bits, so you can email in, and Julia's German word of the week, because we're all learning German together. Um, kind of brings us together as a wee community, yeah. just learning German together, and yeah, shout out to all the podcasters, which are what the Greg James podcast listeners are called. Um, we listen to most BBC Radio 1 podcasts, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, Scott Mills, Grimmy, Ali Plum, Ali Plum. Matt Edmondson, Edmondson, although he hasn't done one since <laughs> last August, get back on the ball, Matt. Seriously. I loved his podcasts. They, I were, know, they great. were great. Like, they were a bit random because it was just like a quick intro, we middle bit, and then like an end link. And it was just like, yeah, like, yeah, sure, it sounds thrown together. But, you know, Matt, I like your voice. Whatever. Yeah. But that's fine. He's a good scooter. Um, yeah. Flip. That's why I respect him. He has a scooter. Plus, he was the first BBC podcast that I discovered, and then I went to the dark side and found Greg James whenever there was a break in Matt Evanson podcast because I think he got married or like had a child or something. But he had a break for like three weeks, and there was no podcast. Or was it not? We just started going to the gym more, and then we ran out of. <laughs> that could, could have been that. That could also have been it. But yeah, we listened to other podcasts too, not just BBC ones. We listened to like YouTuber ones, I guess. We listened to. Dear Hank and John, or or Dear John and Hank, as John likes to think of yeah. it, and and their sort of spin-off podcast. So that's so. John and Hank Green. So John Green off of like books, uh, books, and Hank Green off of John Green's brother. I was gonna <laughs> say Hank Green off of whatever you call it, which doesn't help. Yeah. The the, the learning shows. Um, mental like, floss? mental floss. Yes, that. On I had, I've never actually watched Mental Floss. I've so. watched it the odd time, but yeah. But yeah. Dear Hank and John is good, but then also they do like their own individual podcasts. Yeah, so, so Hank has delete, delete this, this, which is really funny, where he basically just talks about his tweets over the past month. Oh is yeah, yeah, month? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there, I need to explain that. There's a segment called "Oops, I tweeted at Trump," and they sing "Oops, I tweeted at Trump," and then yeah, they they do the oh yeah, 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 but and it just makes me laugh every time. And um. then yeah. John has a podcast called Anthropology, Anthropology Reviewed. Reviewed. I was so worried that I was going to say that wrong. That's if you okay. search Anthro, A-N-T-H-R-O, then it, it comes it auto, up. auto completes yeah. for you, so that's good. Yeah. It's pretty good too. I, I've only listened like I've only listened to one episode of each of those. I've been listening to Dear Hank and John for a while, but then I've only just discovered Delete This and Anthropology Reviewed. Um, but I think they're pretty good. Yeah. I, I enjoyed listening to like, it. Like, I know that podcasts aren't for everybody, but like... I think I listen to a fairly wide selection. Like, yeah. I'll do some, like, comedy, some serious ones, some, like, educational ones. Like, I listen to so many. Like, there's always a, like, whatever mood I'm in, I generally have a podcast to listen yeah. to. Yeah. There's also some Northern Irish ones that we listen to. Lis- listen listen to. to. Um, so there's the Blame Game podcast. Which the Blame Game is a TV show on BBC Northern Ireland, and it's about politics, politics basically. Yeah. But they make it funny. It's not boring. It's kind of like... The last leg, like mock the week. Yeah, like kind of like just sort of taking mick. Like they take headlines and stuff, and um, yeah, well, just, they sort of like they ask questions and then they come up with funny answers of who to blame, who to blame for it. So like, who's to blame for climate change? Climate change, and, and then, they would say something about RHI. Um, <laughs> but there's also um, I suppose the Crack On podcast from RNAB. We mentioned that. In our first podcast, because yeah. that's sort of the first podcast that we were really properly on. Well, yeah, we did the Greg James one, but it was sort of like we were just like, hey! hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, the Crack On one is good, yeah. It's like once a month-ish. Ish, yeah. Ish, ish. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Um, Michael Selby's on it and he has a great voice. Yeah. Like, he's a continuity announcer for BBC, BBC. 
Northern but, Ireland. Yeah. And mm. yeah. Solid voice. I think that's really important for a podcast, which is why I kind of I wanted to do this for a while and then I was like, mm, but my voice that's a major yeah. part of this. But another one know. is I suppose well, does she and Todd still do his he talked about bringing it back, but the Shane Todd cast, so she, comedian Shane Todd, who does like... It's S-H-A-N-E, because there's like 17 million different ways of spelling Shane or Sean. But he's Shane. I thought there was different ways of spelling No, Sean, I'm pretty sure you can spell it like S-H-A-N, and that's Shane as well. What? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ireland, whatever. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not great at Irish words. But <laughs> Shane Todd's a comedian. He does different characters like Mike McGoldrick, who is posh northern irish lad and he hangs Davidson. out with james nesbitt <laughs> i can't do it yeah, no. <laughs> i can do it sometimes rory like. mcelroy <laughs> um, don't you know yeah that's why it is <laughs> um and dean davidson who is like an 11 year old yeah he's, he's like a school kid um who else he does have a baby face though so it does work for yeah. the videos and stuff then there's the boy town podcast which is shane todd and, and dave elliott dave elliott and then D- dave, dave elliott, elliott has, has his a podcast called his weird, weird podcast, podcast. <laughs> lot of, um hanging Hang with, with the Hegarty. hegarty's with sean hegarty and diona hegarty diona was in dairy girls she was katya, katya. in the episode with the they weren't russians they were from the ukraine, ukraine. Um, so she was in that, and she does a podcast with her husband, Sean, who is a comedian, a comedian. who does, like, Rodney videos. I have always gone on about um, Shout Out To My Eggs, which is a parody yeah. of Shout Out To My Ex, which is amazing. Type into YouTube, Shout Out To My Eggs, and just, it's brilliant. It's actually class. Yeah. I love it. Like, we, I think we, we sort of, like, really... Asp- Stop burping! Oh, my word! You don't have to draw attention to it. I know, it's but silent. It, just, it annoys me. But anyway, Dona's, like... Kind of like, not goals, but she's a, she's a role model to us because we want to get into acting and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, she's she's from she's from Derry. She lived in Claudie, did she not at one yeah. stage? I think she said that. And I was like, oh, I'm from there too. We're not from Claudie though. We used to live in Claudie, and she used. To That's live okay. Just just give away where we live. Like oh, I, I said, we used say... to. We used to. Okay. People don't know where we are now. It's all good. We're safe. No one's Sounds going to come like to our we're house. <laughs> hidden identities, just no one could know where we live. But yeah, um, so Dona, if you're listening to this, and, and Sean and everybody else that we've mentioned, we, we like you. We like you. Please give us a shout out because we shouted you out. No, okay. that sounds so desperate. That sounds so desperate. I am desperate. I just want to be loved. What else do I listen to? Um, the out, BBC Ouch, which is about disabilities. Um, and just, they, but like, they take the mick out of it. It's really funny. Um, I think it's it's probably more funny if you yourself had a, has a, have a disability because I think if you were listening to it, I know that if they're not talking about visual impairment, at times they sort of like, oh, are they allowed to say that? And it's like, oh yeah, wait, no, he's in a wheelchair, so he can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of other ones that I listen to, but I can't. I don't think I listen to as many as you. I think you have a wider range of podcasts. Fern Cotton and Russell Brand. Oh yeah, they're quite podcasts. good. Well, the odd time. If I know the person that's on it, I will listen to yeah. it. Yeah. <gasps> Graham Norton. Oh, what I a podcast. I love his podcast. He was doing Eurovision last night and he's just so sassy. I love it. Especially the grill Graham. Mm-hmm. He does that on the radio, doesn't he? And then it's just put into the podcast. Mel Gedroik as well. I love she's her podcast. so much. She's... I'm really sad that it's only one a week and it's only like half an hour long. Yeah. It's so good. They're so funny. You should definitely look these up, guys. Um, yeah, just like type the. We've given pretty much the name of each of them. So yeah. just go back and search them or whatever. Or, you know, tweet us and we can give you some recommendations as well as listen to this podcast as well. Yeah, um, obviously. Just listen to us. Obviously, if you tweet us asking for our podcast, then you've listened, oh, yeah, you've listened this far so at that's, least. That's but, fair. Yeah, I think we should move on because I think we talked about other podcasts that aren't this podcast for a good 10 minutes now this post this podcast is great i enjoy doing this podcast yeah podcasts are good but they're not for everybody like some people think they're really boring but i think they're quite good for the gym and stuff whenever you yeah. can't whenever you can't watch be something. watching something but it's nice to have something that, in your ears that friendly voice in your ears it also annoys me in the gym because they play music over the speakers and then if i have music playing in my ears i can never get it loud enough to block out the music Playing over the speakers. Yeah, so you're always listening, so you're like, always two listening to, like two songs at once, and especially just... if they're like rock songs, and the beats just don't add up, and you're like, no. Oh. Yeah, it really annoys me. So that's why I like listening to talky things because it doesn't matter if there's a wee bit of music in the background. It doesn't yeah, it's matter just if like you background can still hear. music. Yeah. yeah, but no, they're not for everybody. 
maybe try go for, going for a nice walk or playing it in the car. Yeah. Doing it in the gym, whatever. Just yeah. Whatever works yeah. for you. Or an audiobook. If we were sponsored, I think I would like to be sponsored by Audi- Audible or something like that. Because then you could be like, yeah, listen to a book or this podcast. Because yay. I've never listened to an audiobook, really. You have to, like, I used to listen to Stephen Fry read the Harry Potter books whenever I couldn't sleep. Nice. Like, it was nice because he had a nice voice. And then I'm pretty sure I got like four books in. This was like whenever I was doing exams and I just couldn't sleep. Oh, it was during exams and it was like a really, really hot time of the year and my window doesn't open in my bedroom, so I was just roasting. And, yeah. But... I yeah. just help you. It's like a wee bedtime story. It was great. Oh, I feel sleepy now. It's not good. Wake up! <laughs> I'm awake. Um, that, would be, that would be cool. I like... I think the reason I like podcasts is because I like the voices that are on them. Because I'm thinking now and I'm like, who would I like to read me a story? And I'm just like... Egg. Matt Graham Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston. You know, someone like that. But yeah, um, yeah, podcasts, imagine, other podcasts imagine, are available. Imagine James Nesbitt reading you a bedtime story. There were once three bears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I changed my accent because it's the same accent. He's pretty much the same. He's from like Korean or. No, but I was, I was saying like if we were sponsored by something. I don't know if I could do that because I know how annoying it is whenever like you're in the middle of a podcast and then it's just like. An ad appears. Um, like BBC has a new podcast out called Kench, and just every other BBC Radio One podcast that comes on half, you're like halfway through, and it's like, oh, this is a great podcast, and then it's just like it stops. Greg for James an ad. did it at the end, and I was like, yes, yeah, <gasps> like do it at the end, or else like talk about it yourself. Yeah, like instead of having the ad popping up in the middle. Just, like, just sort of like mention it yourself. So it'd be like, ear biscuits. oh, by the way, we didn't say about ear biscuits, which oh, is yeah. Rhett and Link. They do, they do ads quite like, subtly. Yeah. Well, not subtly. Not subtly like you know, they... it's an ad, but they like talk about it. It's not like a recording of someone. Yeah. And they change it up it. a lot as yeah. well. So it's it's always something different. Like that doesn't annoy me as much. But I don't think I could do advertising. I would be like, um, yeah, you can. Uh, buy this thing if if you want, but you don't have to. Like no pressure. Like Dale Farm's great. Oh, Dale Go Farm. buy Dale Farm. No, I would do Dale Farm. <laughs> Dale Farm is legit. Just, just say that in the middle. We're gonna have to tag Dale Farm in this and be like, "Yo guys, we." They don't have Twitter. I know, but they have Facebook and stuff. We can share oh, okay. it on Facebook and be like, "Yo Dale Farm, <laughs> we mentioned you in our podcast. We love you. We like your protein milk and your ice cream. Oh, their chocolate protein milk is beaut. If you live in Northern Ireland." Get yourself down to a shop and get some Dale Farm protein milk. It's only about a pound. Or a Mr. Frosty ice cream. Or a Mr. Frosty. Or a giant bar, which we only just discovered late, like recently. Like, well, I've only just discovered recently. It's literally ice cream on a stick. Yeah, it's, like, it's you so know, like, you know the block ice cream you get? It's not like a scoop of ice cream. It's like a, like... Yeah, you just cut it with a knife. Like, you just need some wafers there and you yeah. have yourself a slider. Oh, it's so or an ice cream sandwich, whatever you want to call it. It was the best thing I ever bought. I think it was only like 80p or something too. Yeah, Deal Farm stuff's good price. Good price. Good price, so it is high. Buy local. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can that be the title? Just hashtag buy local. Yeah. I also <laughs> like Breyer's ice cream just while we're talking about ice cream. It's like low calorie protein ice cream and just, you could eat a whole tub and it's like 100 calories. calories. <laughs> Like, like the, the tub, the size of the tub, just for like... Like for one person, it will be... It's a, yeah, it's like the size of a Ben and Jerry's tub. Yeah, it is the size like of that's a... That's what I was trying to yeah, sort of... Sorry. But like, get I could just like just sit and eat it all myself. I mean, like, people do. I I would, but it's like a fiver for a tub. Like Ben and Jerry's is like a fiver for a tub. Yeah, true. Maybe you're just such a cheapskate. I am. I am too. I am. <laughs> It was on offer for a wee while there. I'm just keeping an eye out for it going yeah. on offer, and I'll buy like six tubs and just put them in the freezer. <laughs> we don't have room in the freezer. It's full of burgers I'll, and I'll frozen get veg. We don't, we don't need frozen veg. We need ice cream. That's what we need. Whenever I have my own house, I'm just gonna have a freezer full of ice cream. Maybe but chicken. everybody else has like a fridge full of beer or something. You're just like, no, I have ice a freezer cream. full of ice cream. If that cream, was guys. Like, I might my freezer section would have been full of. Just... What are you having for dinner? Oh, I'm having spaghetti. What are you having, Judith? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Goals in life. Should we just have cereal for tea? Yeah. For dinner? Just like, yeah. Not all the time. Like, Well, yeah, you know, we did have a lot because it was just sort of like everybody, like, we sort of like, we lived in like a shared house. Yeah. And everybody was cooking more or less at the same time. We were just like, right. We'll just let's grab make cereal, cereal and leave. <laughs> it was so sociable. <laughs> I was so awkward. But it was, al- but it was always so, so busy in the kitchen. Like, six like, of us all yeah. piled in and then someone would have had their friends over or whatever. Someone would have had their boyfriend over and. 
it was like, like a party like, or no harm in it like you can understand like people are living their lives and stuff but I was just kind of like I don't like being stuck in the middle of this because I feel like everyone's always looking at me yeah you've got like because we have to look closely at things as yeah. well and that I sort think of that was the issue because I was always like oh they're pure judging me because I'm looking so closely at this to see if it's cooked oh they're probably thinking I'm such a weirdo and that's why I never really liked the social situation I think I didn't mind whenever I was younger but as I've become older I've sort of become more, more aware, aware of it yeah. of people looking at me and being like oh flip I hate going shopping now too because every time I'm like looking at prices and stuff like a shop assistant always comes over and it's like can I help you and then they pure hover near to you and you're like look I'm not going to steal the things I just can't see the price can yeah. you please you leave know, me I'm alone not, I'm not trying to like open it slowly and then like put my face close to it so I can smell it or like make a wee sweet <laughs> or whatever like oh I was thinking of like clothes shopping and stuff too oh me, okay but, yeah that too like but, but yeah no I'm just not a very sociable person I don't have to force myself to be sociable and afterwards yeah. I'm always like that was great why don't I do that more often and then there's other times whenever I go out and it's like everyone's staring at you or whatever and I'm like oh yeah this is this, this is, is why. why yeah but then I suppose like we have friends who who get it and they're Hang out with yeah, them. and then there's other people that just don't. And you're like, please just probably do like a wee mini podcast at least about our eyesight and sort of talk about that. We have to look closely at things, and our eyes jiggle, which is why I don't like. I realised lately that I don't like looking people in the eye because whenever I look at people in the eye, my eyes shake more. Yeah, and I'm you're, always tr- like, you're trying to focus on something small, and then that just sort of like drives your yeah. eyes mad. So I always look. Re- I, I. It was only like, well, it was properly last night I realised, I was like, I never look people in the eye. Because I was listening to a YouTube video and someone else was talking about it and they were like, yeah, I don't look people in the eye. And I was like, oh, same. I just, I kind of look well, at I think that's just like our generation don't do that. But like, no, like, that's okay. As long as you're looking at, as long as you're looking at their face. But is it not, not really like, obvious that you're not looking at, I'm looking at your chin talking to you now. Can you tell? Well, Can you tell? Yeah. But like, if you look like, I don't know, at their nose or something. <laughs> I don't know. That just, I just. I like I can't anyway. remember. I, it was a video by someone, and they were sort of like, "I don't look people in the eye. I look like just over their left shoulder." But it doesn't like it didn't look like they were. But they were saying, "No, I always look over their left shoulder because I'm not intimidating you by looking you in the eye, but it looks like I am." And I was sort of like, "Okay, that's a bit weird." And the other person like looked at their eyebrows or something like that, or like the space in between their eyes, their nose. <laughs> that's their what nose, that is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Eyebrows are a bit weird because some people are really like. I was going to say energetic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, energetic with their, with their, with their eyebrows. Yeah. Like they're constantly going up and down, and that always really distracts me. Like, I don't look people in the eye, but I'm always like, your eyebrows are going mad. What Especially if, if they have, like, really dark, dark eyebrows. eyebrows. Yeah. Like, you just sort of notice them, and you're just sort of chatting to them, and then you're just like, eyebrows. Eyebrows. Paul Clark has cool eyebrows, though. Yeah. He has very emotive eyebrows, I would say. No, he has great <laughs> eyebrows. Like, they're proper... They're good eyebrows. Who else has dark eyebrows? Alistair Darling. I remember Mock the Week taking the book out of him because he had dark Spires, eyebrows. Yeah. But he always looked so surprised. <laughs> I know <laughs> that was what it was. He just constantly was like, ooh, in shock with the eyebrows halfway up his head. But yeah. yeah. Eyebrows, look- eyebrows are great. Can't yeah. look people in the eye, but eyebrows are pretty decent. Yeah. So sorry if I ever meet you in person and I don't look you in the eye. And yeah, just, I'm not rude. Just like doing it. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, come up, come up to talk to us. Like, if you do see us in the street, like, especially if you do know us, if you know us and you're listening to this and you have like waved at us or said hello to us in the street and we have ignored you, we have not ignored you. We just either haven't heard you, haven't seen you, or we heard you but we didn't know where the voice was coming from. I hate that so much. People would be like, "Hey," and you're like, "Uh, hi." Uh, like you know, you know it's uh, coming from like somewhere across the road, but you're kind of like, "Is it that?" splodge up there or is the splodge yeah. beside me so or is like the splodge a behind me kind of wave like hey or else you like the pretend. coins wave almost or else like you're like flicking bat, the arm. batting the fly out yeah. of the way <laughs> <laughs> or else you just continue walking like you haven't heard anything yeah. but I remember always being I can't remember who it was at school was always like we drove past you and waved out the car window and you didn't wave back and I was like uh how how well do you know me? How long have you known me? Do you really um you sit in a class with me where I, I use binoculars to see the board <laughs> and I sniff my paper whenever I'm writing on it? But yeah, eventually they caught on. They were like, "Oh, flip right, yeah." And then they started beeping the horn. But I was like, "Are they beeping the horn at me? Am I in the way? What are we doing? Why, why are you?" Yeah, be- beeping, I, always, I think beeping well, the horn is the worst. It was you're whenever, like, oh, am I in the way? It was whenever I was at school as well, walking down the road, and people would have beeped the horn going past, and I was suddenly like, "Is my skirt like flying up or something?" Like, yeah, I was always really paranoid. I was like, "Is there something like hanging on my shoe or something?" Like, or is it like, is it some like arsehole boy trying to be like, "You're hot"? Yeah, just don't like beeping of the horn. Yeah. Flash the lights. No, that's that's still kind of like, uh, what, huh? 
stroll on the window and shout, Hey, it's gone! <laughs> hey, it's me! Yeah, but okay. actually say yeah. your name. <laughs> Introduce yourself, please, thank you. Because we're good with, we're, we're like sort of fairly okay with voices, but faces, not a hope. No, nah, like, voices, voices all kind of sound the same at times. Like, yeah, especially you're... if they're from the same family. Or like from the same area, and yeah. they all have the same accent. It's just kind of like, oh, okay. Hey, it's me, Katie! Do that! Like, if you're yeah. driving past. Yeah. Or else just shut your name out the window. It's Katie! Just be like, oh, hey! And then I'm like, it's Judith! <laughs> <laughs> Even though that was Chloe saying that. Yeah. But, you know, you get what I mean. My I do that all the time, though. I'm like, do, like, I would be talking to Judith here, and I would sort of say something. I'd be like, right, okay, I'm going to pretend to be Judith, but do I say me, or do I say Judith, or... Do you do, do th- third person or yeah. get into the role? Yeah. I think you should get into the character at all times. I think that's <laughs> really important. <laughs> but yeah, what else is on our, our list? Our little list. Um, I have get to know us, three facts about us. Because I feel like we talk about ourselves, but we don't talk about ourselves. Yeah. We just talk we about talk, but we don't talk. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get you. Uh, my name's Judith, and I can't see very well. We can discuss that if you want in another podcast. Uh, I'm terrified of bees or anything that buzzes because I can't see if it's a bee or a fly. If it just buzzes, I'm terrified because I don't know what it is. And it could be a bee or it could be a wasp, so I run anyway. Or it could be a fly or, or a blue c- bottle. Yeah, no, but if I know it's a fly or a blue bottle, it doesn't bother me, bother me as much. But it's whenever I can't see what it is, and I'm just like, it's a wasp. It's definitely a wasp. Okay, it's a wasp. I'm running. Except it wouldn't even be a It's a wasp, it's a wasp, it's a wasp. <laughs> You must be already running. <laughs> already. Um, how many is that? Two. Two. Uh, I want to say I go to the gym a lot, but I feel like that's already been discussed. I think that's fairly like what, obvious. Why do you go to the gym a lot? Because a... I like going to the gym. You're, um, not, you're not training for anything, no. I want to say I'm training for a triathlon, but then I feel like I'm pressured to have to do a triathlon. <laughs> I enjoy the training, but the thought of doing it, it's like, I can't swim that well. I can't do 750 metres without but stopping. Can. But I can't. Because even whenever we were doing the time trials, I had to stop and be like, <gasps> okay, okay, I'm going now, I'm going now. And then like, go again. And it's like, because every time I stopped, I would have stopped for maybe like 10 seconds and caught my breath and it would be like, come on, Judith, you have to keep going. And it's like, I know, I know. And then like, I can't, I have to stop. And if it was a deep water one, I would be like, what do I do? Just gonna breath stroke for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, guys? Just gonna go backstroke just for a few minutes. But then, because we're para, we would be attached to someone. So I'd be like, like Lauren or whatever. We need to. We need to breaststroke. I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, no. I would like to do a triathlon. That's the goal. But just you know, when I'd also like to run a marathon and climb Everest and yeah, be an actress. <laughs> So many things. Yeah, I'm basically the same as her, but I'll give you, you need three different I'll facts. give you a different fact, yeah. So my initials spell clam and my parents well, clam kn- But um, my parents knew about that when they need me, so thanks parents. <laughs> they knew about I don't think they did, I think they're just saying that. Yeah. No, they probably did. Like they pro- they probably saw it written down. Me a joke. Why did they not why did they, why am I just J C R N C? That's not fun. There's just I, no. Well, I don't know. Kerm, jerkerm, 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 Anyway, yeah. Um, I see. I'm gonna make it about me because I am self-centered, and it was supposed to be it true facts. But what did I say? I said that I was afraid of bees and oh, buzzy yeah. things. Well, I'm not as afraid of bees and buzzy things. But as But I you think are. that's because whenever you're with someone who's more afraid than you, you become braver. Yeah, because I, I worked because I worked at a summer scheme for two years and. They were all terrified, and I had to be the adult in the situation yeah. and be like, "Guys, it's okay. It's just a wee bee. It's just lost inside. We just have to get it towards the window." And I mean, I carried a bumblebee in my hands and wasn't terrified. But if I did that at home, you I would, I would bumblebee. cry. Yeah, you carried a like bee in your you don't, hands. you you sort of like you cradle it a wee bit in your hands and then you just move slowly. But like you keep like the front open so it sees where it's going. I'm genuinely No, horrified. thinking about it now, I'm actually terrified. My like my, heart, my wee heart's my going. Heart's <laughs> even just thinking about doing that, like... Oh. Although, people have told me stories about, like, their wee cousin or whatever who has just, like, caught a bumblebee and just held it in their hand, just been like, here, look, I caught a bee. Like, <laughs> kids would love to be in that chill. I would love to be that kid, just, like, holding a bee, just like, yeah, I, called it, I caught a bee. You know what I think ruined our lives with bees? Is that bee song? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so pleased me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch, it stung me. I think it's that. Like, the no. fact that it stung me. And then they, I... they, they, they... No, but they sting it, they squish it up, they lick it, they boke it up, and then they have to sweep it up, and then what happens? They, they catch, catch another, another one. one. No, but what scared me about them is, is it's, it's because of you. 
because you because were on your, yeah, because sorry. you were on your bike and I was in the garden and you were down in the yard and you were like you were just chilling your bike. I was helping mum put out the washing or something. <gasps> Three bees landed on my bike basket and I was like, I don't want to get off the bike, but I also want to get off my bike. And then I eventually just sort of like jumped off my bike and then one came over and stuck me on my knee and my knee swelled up and I couldn't. I couldn't straighten it. It wasn't even it wasn't even like the the injury itself. It was your reaction. You were like screaming and crying and I was suddenly like, bees are the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that day I've been terrified. I think before that I was kinda like, Oh, it's a buzzy thing. Okay, cool. I'm just not gonna touch you. But whereas now it's like <laughs> But you've been stung by bees now. I have, yeah, I've been stung on the like bum by a wasp. It's not too bad being stung. Like yeah. if you've never been stung before, unless you're allergic, it's I always tell it's people. It's bearable. I tell people that I'm allergic. Cause Daddy's allergic, and I'm just like I've never been stung by a bee, so I could be allergic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've. Only... I do that all the time. About, well, like, not all the time, but if there's a particular food that I like, I always eat. used to say that at school. It was like, do you know why are you eating your carrots? I'm allergic to carrots. <laughs> it's like, okay, I thought you were allergic to peas and broccoli. Yeah, I am. I'm allergic to all vegetables and fruit. <laughs> but, like, but yeah, that's um, two facts you've done about yourself. You need one uh, more. I broke my nose. I broke my nose. On a bike. Oh yeah, okay, well yours was a lot worse. You could see the bone. Sorry if you're eating food or being squeamish. But yeah, I was was cycling around my house and... Skip ahead if you you don't want to hear the gory details. It was sort of like, it was like, what would you call it, shale? Like the loose loose stones, stones, but not like big stones, like wee tiny sort of like gritty stones almost. Um, So you could do some good skids. you could but have I was, class wee like skid marks and all around the house. Cool. I was I was cycling around and then my dad arrived home at some point whenever I was around the back, um, and I didn't realise and I came flying around the side, and I tried to handbrake turn round it, didn't make it, went into the side of dad's van into the wing mirror, over the front of the handlebars and my face made contact with the ground first. Were you not wearing a helmet? I was, but it was it was like one of those like wee child's helmets that doesn't have a visor or anything. Why do they? Surely kids helmets should be the ones that have I suppose kids aren't meant to go that fast. Look at the speed limit as a child on a bike. I mean, <laughs> what can I say? I just had the need for speed. Yeah. Oh, then you had a need for an ambulance, but you didn't get one. Because my mum's a nurse and she was like, You're fine, you're still going to Holy Bible Club. I was like, But mommy, you could see the bone. There's blood. You didn't know you could see the bone, you just knew it was sore. Oh yeah, because I yeah right enough because I didn't see it until we got home afterwards and it was all scabby. Oh, that actually makes my knees feel weak. Because my mum, my mum put a big plaster over my nose so she didn't, so I didn't scare the other kids. <laughs> That's so cruel. Do you not have those wee ice packs too that you take for picnics? Do you yeah. not have like one of them held on? Well, I, 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 had, I, just had, I just had, I just had to hold it on though. It wasn't like it was taped on. I held it on. The mum was like, "Time to go to Holy Bible Club." I was like, "But mum, it sore." You got an extra sweet though. I got an extra sweet, which really doesn't sound like a lot, but it made my night. I think like that, I think oh my word, like simpler see, times. See, yeah, that's simpler what I was going to say. See, like if you give away an extra sweet because they hurt themselves. I know if you they give them plain. If you even give them one sweet, you're like, you can have a sweet, like. Just one, and you're like, yes, yes, just one. You could have nothing if you like, if you're gonna be like that. You can have nothing. Like they they expect like nearly a packet, a packet of sweets. Oh, yeah. like, like, what? what? Just, no, just take like things. I like, grew up. <laughs> I had just like, one. Things are more expensive these days as well. Like, yeah, and expect more as well. So like, lad, like we had like a sweet. Whenever sweets were like literally a penny per. Sweet. I like, right know. We whenever. had like penny sweets. <laughs> Like oh, um, our mother does care about us. By the way, it's just she I think it's just us. a nurse thing yeah. where you just they've seen a lot worse and they're like, "Oh, you'll be all right. I know it's not that serious." Yeah, kind of thing. Like they're like, "It's not broken," and I don't want to take you into casualty to waste a doctor's time for them to be like, "Oh, and to, just and to wait in casualty for like four hours." I yeah. mean, like go NHS, you're great, but I mean, like sometimes I, waiting times are what, like yeah. silly. No, but that's like, what it's, I'm it's saying, not like, their fault. That's what I'm saying. Like mum used to work in casualty so I think she kind of is aware of waiting times and the pressure and, and stuff like that so she's kind of like if I can if I can treat yeah. you at home then you'll be fine yeah. <laughs> I think but the one time I had to go to casualty was whenever I broke my arm and mum didn't even want you to go and then she was like cried for a, two hours it's just a green stick fracture you would have been fine <laughs> I think it was just because I cried that much because it was sore like we we like what nine year old me was oh, you were about seven no you must no, have been about nine six. yeah, yeah. Because it was before our 10th birthday, because I had the cast on of my 10th birthday. I'm still sorry that I threw sand at you and it went down your cast. That was awful. That made the last two weeks of it awful. 
But Not Jessica gonna lie. helped you. She whacked it and got most of the sand. I out. know, but it still made it. Oh, it was I know. so itchy. I'm really sorry. Do you forgive me? I do, but at the same time, if you ever have a cast on, I'm throwing sand down oh, there. No. <laughs> I'm like the one person that will properly ball my eyes out. <laughs> I balled you my could, eyes out. <laughs> you were like nine. <laughs> I'm like 22 and I would ball my eyes out and be so, Mom, we're going through sand during my cast. <laughs> it's really itchy. And you can't 22 grow Mom up. was like, use a fork. And I was like, but what if I scrape my skin off? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. I've always thought about that. Like, whenever people are like, oh yeah, I just scratched it with a fork. It's like, but you're scared. Skin. Like, forks go through vegetables and meat. But is that not a thing? Can you not, like, bite your thumb off? With the same, the, the same, same force, force to bite through a raw carrot or something? Yeah. Oh. oh I'm I... sorry, this has got really dark and disgusting. I've some, like, one time I did try it, I was like, I won't bite the full way through. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just bite I'll just... halfway and then I'll just stop. <laughs> I'll just see if I can. But there's, like, it's like a mental thing. Like, you know you're biting your thumb so you just like your brain doesn't it's like I can't I can't do this but imagine like you know if you're a Wayne and you like bite someone imagine a Wayne bit through someone with his finger that, that kind of I think everybody's brain well like most people's brain has like almost like a humanity switch that sort of knows <laughs> this thing is I alive am, I'm I am not going to kill it by fr- bite it oh I feel a wee bit sick <laughs> let's stop let's talk about happy things like false advertising what, what kind of false advertising are we talking about here? I don't know, sort of like, I don't know. Um, things that are named soft and gentle, for example, a deodorant. <laughs> but it just means on your skin, not for hitting yourself on the head with it. I know, but still, I mean, you know, I took it literally and it... it is oak, is everything in oak furniture land made of oak? I mean, I assume the doors aren't. No, 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 but I mean, like, do they use mahogany or... Use metal for the hinges. No, I know, but like, is is it all the one kind of wood? That's what I'm getting at. Or are they What's sometimes all, like what other woods is there? There's oak and mahogany. That's all I can think of. Timber. Tim. <laughs> Timber. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> it's a type of wood, but it's not. It's one of those things. I definitely know more woods than this, but I just can't think of it. Yeah, like you learn about them in in school in the rainforest, and it's like yes, they cut down big bits of mahogany. <laughs> Ivory, no, that's no, that's, that's tusks, 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 isn't it? Yeah, no, not ivory. But yeah, false advertising annoys me. Like, especially like foods. Like, what kind did of you know, no? Did you know that you know the way you see all like the roast chickens and stuff? Yeah, that's a raw chicken painted brown. No, but what about when they cut into them, like on the ads on TV? Well, no, like that's real. But how do they cut it like, so neatly? It's so cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like it's all it's, it's, it's so so planned. Like, it's not like. They just go into a random house and be like, hey, we're going to watch you carve your chicken. <laughs> we're going to film you carve your turkey. They like they spend hours doing it for like a 30 second ad. Do they eat the like, food afterwards or do they chuck it out? Because if they chuck no, it out... because most of I'm... it's like doctored in a way that you can't physically eat it. That's okay, right? No, that's not okay. There are people starving like, I can't in the remi- I can't remember, but there's like stuff and it's sort of like all of the mashed potatoes isn't actually mashed potatoes at all. It's actually like you know, cream or something like that or like it's something stupid. I can imagine ice cream being used as mashed potato. Why do they use maybe an ice cream maybe, scoop maybe for... It's, maybe it's ice cream as mashed potato or something like that. It's something stupid. Oh, imagine looking that off an ice cream cone. Ugh, book. That's... Unless the ice cream cone was made out of, like... Carrots. <laughs> <laughs> like a Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding as a cone and then mashed potato. And then That's a really sauce. interesting idea for a restaurant. That's sort of like Heston Blumenthal kind it's of... It's kind of hipster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you get your coffee in a test tube or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, that annoys me. Hipster stuff where they serve it on a spade or a slate. Or I've never gone to like a hipster. Like a slate, I think is okay because that kind of shows like, look, this is clean, this is well presented and well prepared. But like a spade, yeah, or like in a mason jar, whenever it's supposed to be on a plate. No, I there's like ones you always see on. I always see them on Buzzfeed, and it's like deconstructed spaghetti, and you've got like this the the noodles. Is that what they're called? The noodles or whatever. The spaghetti. Spaghetti, but like the spaghetti in one jar the sauce in another jar and then like meatballs or whatever in another jar and it's like what's the point you're meant to eat it together anyway like like I suppose if you don't want like a pure loads of sauce but like also at the same time just let the spaghetti drip yeah <laughs> like like because surely it's going to be cold by the time they hand it out to you and by the time you get it out of the jar and into the plate I would it not cool down far quicker in a jar and they charge you twice as much and be like mate I'm making this myself yeah <laughs> you've literally <laughs> heated it up I have to serve it <laughs> serving myself 
Well, else are they doing hipster cafes and stuff? It's they like, don't use proper chairs. Yeah. No. Well, that's a bit. Well, it's it's okay, but like if they go out of their way to like make a chair out of a toilet or something like that, <sighs> like it's fine if they use like I like restaurants and like cafes and stuff that just sort of use like odd chairs and stuff like that. And just as long say, as like, they're not really awkward heights and you've got someone sitting with their knees. At table height and then one person like with their chin on the table. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like try and balance it so that it's like yeah. I, I like it's it's like I like upcycling that yeah. sort of style. Yeah. But whenever it's sort of like hipster and it's sort of like you're sitting on a toilet, <laughs> that's not great. But we should probably finish this. Yeah, this has been there. fifty minutes. So it's getting longer every time. Next time we'll go for an hour. Yeah, we'll try. But I don't think we'll go over an hour. We'll try not to go over an hour. Yeah. But yeah. Thank you again for for listening. I was about to say watching. Um, if there's any questions or whatever, if you, you want to say that, if you thought it was too gross, let us know that too. Because yep. I apologise for that. Actually, it was. I'm just, did I do all my three facts? I can't. You broke your nose. Yeah, that was your third. Yeah. One. Okay. Right. That's okay. Um, um, remember yeah. the podcasts that we listen to. Have a listen to them. You might enjoy them. Send us questions and comments. Topics. And remember to share it, like it, follow us, leave a review, leave a star r- rating. rating, that's yeah. what it's called. Follow yeah. us on YouTube for new videos every Wednesday, Wednesday. slash Thursday. <laughs> Late Wednesday Day. night, yeah. early Thursday morning. <laughs> but um, yeah, cheers lads. Good Zachi- luck. Zachi's away on now, I. Where you go. Us. Cheers, right? Peace Bye. and love. Bye. Wee. Wee. Bye.